Um, so today we're looking at um, Checkpoint software in particular and the upgrade options for customers who are currently running on R65 and even later versions of software um, and some of the options they've got as far as upgrading and taking advantage of the new software blades that are now available um, following various acquisitions, um, so the likes of the IPS blade, DLP and some of the application awareness that's coming further down the line. We realised that the majority of customers were still on the previous version and there's only less than six months before that version goes end of life. So before they can even take advantage of the new functionality, we'd effectively have to upgrade them to the latest version. So today was all about explaining all of the options uh, that they have available to them in terms of upgrading and then the new functionality that they can take advantage of once they have upgraded. Um, so the second half of the morning we've provided some technical clinics, um, a bit more of a round table event. Rishit provided an overview of DLP and the new Checkpoint DLP blade. Then gave an introduction to a general framework and best practices around DLP and I actually demoed the solution to the customer. The main message is really that DLP is growing. It's been around for years, but it's a growing part of every organisation and everyone needs to consider having some sort of DLP policy and DLP structure. Tim's gone into detail on the IPS blade. Well, the message today is Checkpoint have announced some major changes in the architectural way that licensing is achieved and also the features, how they're deployed. So my message today was to try and bring in that to a real life example of how we go about activating those and offering a safe pair of hands for our customers in doing so. James Frost has gone into details on the Checkpoint VE product, the new virtualization offering from Checkpoint. So the message was really about how uh, the security areas of a business should really be looking to uh, address virtualization technologies. Uh, the, the advice really would be for the security areas of a business to look at virtualization as a growing area of the business uh, and see how that impact, impacts security moving forward. And lastly, Andrew Hesketh and Mark Hitchens have provided an overview of the Checkpoint application control blade um, following acquisition of the FaceTime database and how that provides additional granularity and control for customers. Um, so I was just talking about you know, considerations and why customers may want to use the application blade and how it addresses the spread of malware and gives customers control over their applications, gives them user level visibility. I've taken away a couple of interesting things from today uh, on the uh, intrusion prevention side and the application awareness uh, that you know, we, we could probably plan for in the future to implement. Uh, I think the event was a real eye-opener and it has um, certainly you know, lighted my uh, confidence, let's say, in um, going for an upgrade to R70. Um, if you couldn't make it today, please don't hesitate to get in touch with Nebulous or Checkpoint. We'd be delighted to come and see you and talk to you about the new products that are available and the migration path uh, with your current infrastructure. For those customers that couldn't make it today, we're going to make all of the resources available online, the presentations, uh, the live demos that we've been running today, uh, but also there's still the opportunity for us to come out and meet those customers individually and talk them through certainly a lot of the content today uh, that they want to talk about on a more sort of one-to-one -one level.